As a small business owner who is focused on relationship, you want to engage with your audience in meaningful ways. Now, you might already be doing things like social media or email marketing or text marketing, but I want you to think about the concept of experiences that you can run with the help of Project Broadcast. So what do I mean when I say experience? It is a way to go a little bit deeper on a specific topic or a promotion that is really targeted at a segment of your audience that is most interested. And here is how an experience will flow. You will promote the experience, or in the case of something like a direct sales party, a host is promoting it for you. Participants will sign up, and then you deliver value through content and communication. Now, this is where Project Broadcast really comes in because the content can live on a Project Broadcast landing page and the communication can include automated texts. And the beautiful thing about Project Broadcast is you can have these texts that are automated to provide sort of a baseline of conversation. But then if people are interacting with you, you can actually have real-time one-on-one chats with your customers as well. This is not just a one-way conversation. And that points to the fourth part of the experience where you're interacting via text as they participate. I have a little asterisk there because what I've described here is just the baseline of an experience. You might also have content or interaction in other spaces. If your experience is an in-person gathering or a Zoom call, a webinar, or it might have a Facebook component, things like that. And so your experience is serving your audience and developing relationships in a way that complements other strategies you have in the mix. This basic framework and concept of experiences can cover so many possibilities. And you may already do one or more of these in your business, but thinking of it in the framework of experiences, as I'm talking about, can help you really bring them to a new level with the help of Project Broadcast. So just to name a few, direct sales parties fall under this definition with or without a host. It could be an on-demand party or in person or on Zoom or Facebook, you name it. This also covers things we would call freebies, like webinars, pre-recorded workshops, printables, challenges, a quiz. Even something like sending people daily affirmations could be framed as an experience. You could also apply this concept to team resources like onboarding or team calls, newsletters, weekly tips, a customer referral program, sample sale, a giveaway, new product launch announcements, or sale alerts. These are all types of experiences. And a great experience will follow what I call the SPARK framework. This is an acronym where you have a sign-up page. This is where you describe the experience, including the value and what people can expect. And you include a sign-up form. When people sign up, they're redirected to what I call a party page. This is what I love to put on a project broadcast landing page. And it's where you're delivering on what you promised and you cover any logistics people need like dates or links. The letter A is for authentic conversations that are going to happen thanks to those automated texts. And if applicable, other connection spaces like conversations in a Facebook group, in person or on a Zoom call. Behind the scenes, you have the letter R and that's resources for planners so that you, as well as the host, if there is a host, can access the tools and to-dos, the list of who has signed up, you know exactly what to do. And finally, the letter K is keeping in touch. This means you have a call to action in your experience and you're intentional about how the participant will continue their journey with you. I invite you to check out some of my other videos to see examples of this in action. I will show you how the Project Broadcast landing page and a series of texts can apply to experiences of different types. And I hope these examples will inspire you to see how you can use Project Broadcast in this way, and better yet, how my tool, Spark Hub, can help you to do it. So I'll see you in the next video.